as Baynak gets restless in gate number two, but they sent on their way and Baynak lost about two lengths coming out of the gates. Believe in Fate on the left-hand side began well with Gold Fever racing down the centre in the white cap and on the outside is Inquele. Bourbon Reserve is also up with the speed. Then came Baynak and further back is Tokyo Medaglia racing about seven lengths off the leader as they race their way past the 800 metre mark. Out in front here, Believe in Fate got it by just about a length. Baynak is racing along its inside. On the outside is Inquele. Then came Bourbon Reserve racing in the stripe cap just off the pace and further back is Gold fever and racing further back is Tokyo Medaglia. They come down to the last 420. It's still in front. Believe in Fate got it by a length. Inquele starts to close ground towards the outside. Then came Bourbon Reserve and further back in the field is Baynak. Tokyo Medaglia is also making up good ground from the back as they come to the last 200 and Believe in Fate is now shot two lengths clear of Inquele towards the outside. Then Tokyo Medaglia and further back is Bourbon Reserve but Believe in Fate shot clear and will romp home in the First, second to Tokyo Medaglia, then came Bourbon Reserve at Inquele. And then Gold Fever. Yes, you heard on replay, believe in fates in the red and silver colours down the centre. And is well clear of the opposition in the closing stages. Inquele is towards the outside. Tokyo Medaglia making up good ground from the back end of the field to run into second. 1736, the first four across the line. Because there's a massive, uh, massive crowd here, and I'm not going to have time to talk to everybody. So I'm going to give the, the winning groom from World Sports Betting, the winning groom getting his uh, 1500 Rand voucher. I think you got a good horse, Nelia. Yes, uh, I want to say thank you to my boss, Mr. Soma, and well done to Mozi, well done to everyone, and, and sport betting world, uh, I'm really appreciated. Well done, my friend. Thank you so much. Right, we're going to grab Muzi. He's got, uh, he's got a, a lot of rides today, and uh, let's see what he's got to say about this beautiful winner of the first race. Muzi. Man of the moment. Man of the moment. Man of the moment. Go, Well done. He went down. He, he went down like he needed the. He, he had to give him a slap down the shoulder and to get him down to canter down. I was a little bit concerned about that, but he came out the gates running. Yes, I uh, decided, you know, when you've never run them before, just watch the replay and show him poor striker at the vault. <laughs> he walked out and he was out of his ground. And, Strike wasn't sure because he, was, he was being tightened up, you know, the, we sure. at the vault sometimes we all run in or run out and he wasn't sure he was so he lost a lot of ground and he came back for a good third and uh, today obviously he's back at home and uh, when he did that I wasn't surprised. That's why my key thing was just to get him out in the open, it's a small field and not have him watered by horses where he's, where he's not sure. So when he was in front I could steady the ship and do my own pace but it was pace work. Uh, Never had to, just had to keep his mind, mind on the job. He looks like a decent colt. Yeah, he gave me a good feel there. He's one of, one of the better ones. Muzi, um, I know you got a, a, we can't go through all your rides the whole day. Give us your best. Um, this was my best. But After this, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Claw must be a massive runner. And uh, I think uh, in the last race, uh, Mr. Crawford's also at 52. James Crawford's also at 52. Must be a big runner. Is it most important? How's the track today? I think it's running very good. We're still lucky. With the, we always have to deal with the we're frost. We still have, Yeah, we're in summer, but we have to deal with the frost in the early mornings. So to our track managers, thanks for taking care of us. Muzi, have a good day. You've got a lot of rides. Off you go. Thank you very much. I don't want to leave anyone out. Mr. Soma, Mr. Soma great training feet. Uh, Mr. Chinsami, my, I don't want to leave anyone out. I just want to thank my, my the partners, actually family, friends as well. So a big thank you to Stone Stamco. A big thank you as well. Shot Muzi. Joey. I didn't know I was going to, I didn't know I was going to be doing this. Uh, in a, if, I've, I've ridden for you for so long and now I'm interviewing you. You were my favourite <laughs> jockey, John. You and Anton and Pierre were my. You were, weren't too good on the golf courses, but you were very good riding. Joey, um, uh, Joey, I saw this horse go down. I was a little bit nervous because he looked like he was he was looking at everything, and I was a bit nervous because uh, James's horse went down went down very very, very well. well. Yeah, I told all the chaps that he was just taking it all in. He's that kind of horse. Once Muzi gave him a, a smack on the sh uh, on the neck, he just got into the bit and went down. I was very surprised that the pace he showed. I was very surprised how he came out of those pens. He showed me 
absolute unbelievable improvement from the first one to the to second race. And that's why I've got to go on and thank Pierre Stratum for the ride the first time. Never got punished, taught him about racing. And that's why we miss you senior jocks, you know. They, they, it, it's, it, jokes aside, John, it's yeah. about... Uh, first run is the most important run in my opinion. You don't want to get a hiding, you want to teach them. they got their whole careers ahead of him. So thanks, Pierre. Look, I'll be here all day. I if I have to thank all my, all my uh, owners, they've all been absolutely champion. We've, uh, you know, through Gabby and, my, and, and myself, we started this little uh, partnership between all the chaps. Uh, they've all done very well, the three horses that run now. I just want to thank Gabby especially for putting the partnerships together, all the hard work he did. And for and my picking the horses, I think Gabby's also got a... I was just going to get there to thank Neville, my brother, and Gabby who do all the hard work. And then I'll just come in at the death and make the short list. They all support me very well. None of them hesitated in the partnership, especially the chaps in Durban, uh, Gavin and all the other chaps. Dale and Marlon have been with me forever. They're my lucky owners. And I'm sure there's a lot of partnerships that will stem from this as well. So thanks to everyone, and obviously thank you very much to Muzi. No, no, very good ride. I thought Muzi uh, jumped out, got, away, get, got out of trouble, and uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this horse, John. Yeah, I think he's a very nice horse, John, one to follow. Definitely. Thank you. Who's coming to have a chat? I see uh, Mr. Chin Sammy's testing. You can all mob me. Come, off you go. No, no, that's not Boys, uh, right. I, th I think you got a, you got a very, very nice horse in your hands. Beautiful horse, beautiful horse. And uh, yeah, well done to all the partners. Well done to the Kiston Play boys in Durban. Uh, Colin, Gavin, Denzel, Craig, and our accountant, Nolan. Yeah. And all the guys here, Roger, Dylan, Marlon, my son, Orion. Well done to everybody. Yeah, and thanks to it. Joey. Thanks to Joey and uh, Gabby Soma for choosing the horse and getting it right to peak fitness and gave us all the confidence today. Uh, the tote board showed it was 5 to 10, so yeah, I think Dylan got the chunk of it. But yeah. I see he's still practicing his golf swing on the, on the podium, yeah? Before we go, guys, I mean, obviously we can't talk to everybody, we're, we're stuck with time. Please just take a photo with uh, Bloodstock South Africa for the 100,000 rand, but I'm gonna, yo, you've doubled it. <laughs> well, we <laughs> before. Well done, guys, I think you've got a very, very nice horse in your hands, and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with him. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tony. So, yeah, so like we saw, the first race was run and won. Joey Somers also, I think, is, uh, he looks a decent horse. So nice to see the owners on the race course today. Uh, beautiful day out here at Turfentine. And let's hope uh, the punters have a good day. Uh, first, start of, first race, the, the, the favourite one. And let's hope there's more to come.